Why'd you buy this? It's awesome. Awesome? It's awesome. That's good. Cub are gonna like to hear that. <laughs> hey, Craig here. I'm outside Cub Campus. Can't wait to take you in here. So today's episode, hopefully we'll get a tour of the showroom, see a little bit of production, and uh, give you an idea what this Cub Camper business is all about, because I know customers are very loyal and they've got some great products. So let's get in there. So, we're in the factory now, the Cub Factory. This is Matt, you're the New South Wales sales manager, the state Great. manager, yep. you're the state, state manager, yeah. big boss. Yep. We're gonna have a little tour around the factory. So this is where all the action is. So uh, we're pretty big on the ERP side of things with making sure we've got enough stock on hand. You might have noticed we've got the safety vest on. A Star Wars helmet on in there, that guy. So there's some more trailer stuff here. What were you saying about the steel? So you do your own yeah. chassis. Yeah, we do. So okay. we get all the steel brought in, yeah. and then out here in the steel yard, yeah. we'll cut it to whatever we need. Right. right okay. So that's going to depend on the, the production schedule yeah. of what's happening. So these guys cut right. everything down to the lengths we need. It's all Australian steel. All Australian, mate. Hey, yeah. mate. That's a good thing. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Production schedule. So yeah. what's that now? If I want one of these U-Butte vans, yep. what am I doing? How long am I waiting? Uh, you're looking at about April at the moment. About April. Yeah. So, so it's like a six month type yep. thing, is it? Yep. Yeah, maybe a bit longer, six, yep. seven months. Yeah. So that's the same for a camper? No, oh, we can do campers a little bit quicker. Yeah. yeah. So you've got your normal range of campers. Yes. When I say normal, they're always evolving, are they? Or yeah. you've got the traditional oh, one? We, and we, the... we fine tune them each year. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so these vans here. Yep. So you've got the, what are the three models? So you've got the H14, H16, yep. Yep. L16, C16, and then we've got an F14 about to hit the market end of the month. An F14? F14. That sounds exciting. There you go. Look out for that one. I'm sure you can go online or ring up a dealer. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We've got dealers all around Australia. Yeah. So, so we've just seen where the steel gets cut. Yeah. And we come back in here, and this is where they'll weld the chassis up. I won't go in there. No. That might be secret business. <laughs> you've got to preserve. You can't show everyone everything. But you've got some really good stuff happening. I've seen it in there myself. Yeah. Particularly the welding, that kind of stuff. Do they all have to be white? No. The top of the line model, the C16, is a grey. Oh, OK. okay. You can only get the grey in that top of the line. Right. All the others are white. Otherwise, you have them white. Yeah. What you're seeing here on the hoist is actually the, the new F14 model. Right. At this right. point here, this is where they get a lot of the the under chassis components put in. So that you'll get your your water tanks, which you can see there. They're yep. ready to go in. They get yep. the suspension components in. Being an ATX airbag. Right. From Cruise Master. That's good. Yeah. Mm. So if you want airbags on a on a Cub product. Yep. You, you're going to the ATX suspension. That's right. Yeah. And if you don't need the airbag, you uh, have your suspension that you make. Right. Yeah. Okay. And, and we get a lot of um, customers, existing customers, who have had one of our camper trailers over the years, and they'll come back and they upgrade to one of their vans. Right. Uh, okay. So we, we do have a very loyal customer base. You know. That looks very nice. Now that's great. That's the C16. So that's the top of the range one? Top of the range, yeah. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah. So we manufacture everything here. So we'll, we make the kitchens. Right. We make all the cabinetry. Yep. All right, we do our own wiring harnesses. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's one of the finished kitchens. Yeah. You know what I like? See this stuff? What's this stuff called? So the, the Remex stainless steel. Yeah, I just love that. I don't know what it is about it that I love. I know it's pretty easy to clean. Absolutely. Yeah. And it seems pretty hardy as well. Yeah. I'd like a bit of that on my van, I reckon. That's all right, they look good. These are so quick to fold up and open up. Yeah. Because we spent about two years developing it. There's no internal poles that you've got to put up. Oh. Well, that's right. a brainwave. Self-supporting. 
that's good. I remember my first camper trailer back in the day. We took it to this park for a test run, and three hours later I'd set it up. I had a hundred different poles, and it took just as long to take it down. And then when I sold it, about five years later, I had it down to about 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it was still a long time. Yeah. But the people you run into with these campers out on the road, they just love them. Yeah. You know, and they got quality seals, quality components. Uh, so you can see, you're going to be taking this to the show, aren't you? In the next month or so. Yeah, it starts. Whatever caravan shows are around. It starts doing its show, its show trips the show around tour. the end of the month. Right, okay. Yeah. So if you want to be having a look at this new F14, better get yourself to a show. Is this towards the end of the assembly here? This is here? the last, last station here. Oh, okay. Johnny, how are you? Hello. Hello. I like what you do here. All this electrical wiring seems to be in a harness format. Yeah. Yeah? We so make all of our harnesses. That's all harnesses. easy. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is for un like under the bed. Right. This is a, a king bed version. Right? Yeah. So in here is your underbed storage. Right. Okay. Right. And, a, and there's a trundle drawer that goes in yeah. under there as well. Yeah. So you use as much aluminium and composite aluminium as possible as possible in the support structure inside the van. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's strength, good. Strength, rigidity, and keep the weight down. Yeah. So you can see here, this is all about like 28 mils. And what's, what special insulation does that give the van? Oh, acoustic and thermal. Right, yeah. Right, so it keeps your sound yeah. down yeah. from exiting and also coming in. Right. And also the thermal properties. Yeah. In cooler months, if you've, if you've got a diesel heater, which all of ours come standard with, yeah. you can warm up. You don't need to run the diesel heater all night. Turn it off. The thermal properties will keep it warm. Yeah. Conversely, in summer, it stays cooler inside for longer as well. Yeah. But we have a composite van, and the, the insulation properties just leave the other kind of construction methods for dead. Yep. Well, that's what I've found. Like heating, you're right. Even with the air conditioner in the summer, you just crank it on, gets to the temperature quick, and then it seems to stay there a lot longer. That's right. Yeah. It uses less power. Yeah. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. Like everyone's really got to be going this way sooner or later. What's this, what's this here? What's that? Stainless steel. So is that like a protection? I haven't. Does we anything go to, on that or what? We wanted to get away from the traditional checker plate. Right. right? Yeah. We just wanted to add that little bit of extra um, class about the C16. So this is the last station in the production line, is it? It is, yeah. Before you go and do, what, what happens quality. after this? Quality control? Quality control, the final checks. Yeah. Then it'll go and get weighed. Uh, it'll get a water test as well. We were all done. It's done its final check in there. Yep. There's another little shed where, um, what happens there? Well, Does it get weighed or what about water testing? Does water testing's out the back. Weighing's yep. just here on the left. Right. Talking about weighing things. Is it open? Yep. That's all right. These things look like a million bucks, mate. So they're good. They come out here, and I think what people are concerned about. Sometimes they go to a caravan factory, and they buy their van, and they pick it up, and they think it's going to be, you know, two ton. Yep. And suddenly they arrive, and it's, you know, two point two or two point three. Correct. Yeah. And a lot of people want to know that, okay, well, I've, up, I've optioned this up for maximum solar and batteries. You told me it was two tonne, and I just went and got it weighed, and it's 2.2. So what's going on there? So what happens here? If it fully optioned up van yeah, the, the comes completed, out here. Yeah, the completed van yeah. with all options fitted yeah. that the customer ordered. And I think that's it's very important. The tear weight gets put on the VIN plate, the actual weight of your van. Right. So you can be 100% assured that what you're buying is actually this weight of product. Got it. You've got an exact starting point. Yeah. Right, for your payload. These mud ones. terrain, all terrain. Yeah. So BF Goodrich. Yeah, they're BFG mud terrain. So you're not getting some chunky brand. No. You're getting a good brand of tyre. Quality, quality brand. Good wheels. So they're particular to you. They are, yes. Good. That's classy, isn't it?
Mm. Yeah. I actually like this one. I must be top of the range person. I like this one better than the plane. Yeah. But that's just me. Yeah, so if you want this stuff. Yeah, go to C16. Yeah. It's not covered in decals and stripes and, no. you know, magic dust and stripe, you know. That's no, right. Shapes and symbols. Yeah. But at least yeah. you get a nice, slick. It's nice, clean lines. Quality product. Yeah. Mm. That is good. Are there anything special about these hatches? So do yeah. you think, are these the Traveller? Aussie Traveller, were they made for you, no, these they're hatches? They're made for us, right? Right, uh, so, so these are your hatches. You can see the, the rubber seal. Yeah, so you've got here. this car seal in here, type of thing. Yeah, and then it meets up with, with this the rubber one. seal there. Okay, so that's another rubber that fits in there. And it's. And then there's the edge of that rubber out there. So, so you here. come out to this big thing here. Yeah. This is like a purpose-made shed, isn't it? This is good. So there's 21 nozzles, and they're all firing at what? Just as fast as the water can come out. Yeah. Which would be stronger than rainstorm, yeah. wouldn't it? We put the van in here for 30 minutes, all right, with the pumps going. So 30 minutes in here? Yes. That's a fair while. It's, it's it? like a monsoon. Yeah. yeah. So everyone, and this happens as part of the quality control process. Every single van, end. every single camper trailer. Yeah, that's a good thing. And with the hybrid, so the H16, the H14, yeah. and soon to be F14, yeah. because they're a pop top, yeah. they get tested when they're closed. Right. They also get tested when they're open. Ah, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. And all of the water we use here is recirculated. Ah, okay. Right. And filtered, so we're not spraying dirty water. Yeah. You can see that. It's a very windy day today, so some leaves are blown in, but apart from that, so the water just drops through these grates and gets recirculated. Yeah, so and out the back there's the big water tanks. And yeah. It all gets... I like that idea. What, what makes you feel comfortable is that there's sort of a quality process of making sure the customer's going to get the van. That's right. Yeah. You don't want to drive off in the first week and it's leaking. It's all about the customer experience. Yeah. It's... And I think too, Cub, Cub just over the time, they've just got this huge repeat business customer yes and people move from their camper trailer up into one of these either a hybrid or or now the full van yep. and they've been around two or three years now haven't they and they're going pretty That's well right. going very well we ran into one of your customers of a new i'm sure it was a h i don't know whatever it was i only had it three weeks yeah out at lightning ridge <clears throat> and here's what they had to say i've run into craig and marilyn They've just bought a Cub camper. This is a H16. Correct. Yeah, so that's the latest, greatest. I thought they might have been in it a long time, but it's only a few weeks. Three weeks, yep. Three weeks. So what do you reckon? Why'd you buy this? It's awesome. Awesome? It's awesome. That's good. Cub are going to like to hear that. <laughs> anyway, so what do you like about it? Well, Australian made. Yeah. We had to, we had to go for Australian made. That was a, a kind of non-negotiable for us. Yeah. Um, Cub. Being made in Sydney too, because yeah. we're out just we live outside of Sydney, and our last one was made in Queensland. So right. any kind of warranty problems, yeah. it was yeah. a drive, um, yeah. you know, to Caloundra. Oh right. Is, oh yeah, that's a yeah. bit of a drive. Yeah, it's a isn't bit of a drive. Yeah. That's a bit of a drive. They didn't have any other dealers or anything. Well, we could get service yeah. Um, yeah. in New South Wales, yeah. but yeah, you know, for some major work we had yeah. to have done, it was. Yeah. A, yeah. We've been travelling for ages, and you see a lot of people in the Cub camper. You know, the older Cub campers. Yeah. And they just raving about them. There's a lot of repeat business. I think that was the thing too, like because they've 50 odd years they've been making campus, so they're very good yeah. reputation for yeah. quality and reliability. And you know, you know, they're probably going to be there in yeah. three years' time if you need. Yeah. I you think know. that's a good thing. We just did a review of composite vans, mm. Mm. and I said to Tracy the other day, "What would you do if you had to only had, you know, you could only buy one more van, and you trusted and believed in that product? Mm. These are of the ones we saw." Mm you know, what would you be buying? And it was either this or a Rhino Max or something like yep, that. Yeah, they're good. Which is sort of in the category of what you used to have. Yep. Yep. You know? Yeah, definitely. Um, yes. It's sort of right up there. And one yep. thing you said before, this has ATX suspension. Yep, Cruise Airbags, Master, Airbags, Red Arc, all, lots of power. All the Red Arc. So I think that was important to me was all the bits that if it went wrong yeah. could ruin your holiday in this are the best you can buy. So the, the, the right. Red Arc electronics, the Cruise Master suspension, yeah. Australian, Australian steel, um, in-house made 
Chazzy, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, Webasto, um, air conditioners, and you, you know, oh, it right. was all, all the all the big ticket items. Yeah. So they're big fans of Cub. Yeah. 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 So that's a good thing. And they come out of a really high-end camper trailer. Yeah, that's right. So that's got a lot to say for your brand. It is. I'll show you something else as well. Okay, good. You got a secret? Yeah. Maybe a surprise here. So you make your own tents. That's right. And the skirt for the pop top right in your factory. And all the upholstery for the cushions. Yep. Yes. That's good. So it really is an Australian-made product, isn't it? Yeah. And I saw some mattresses out there. Where are they? Are yeah, they made Australian? in Melbourne for Melbourne. us. Can you get your own names embroidered on your on your seats and that you kind of thing? You can get your own name on the back of your van. I don't want to start a trend, but you can get your own name. Yeah, on the back of the van, yeah. You got one of those vinyl cutout yeah, things? so we, we can put that for you. Oh, good. So but, what's this here? Is this mesh? Yeah. Is that any special mesh? It's oh, probably it's better than that, fine. isn't it? So this is super yeah. fine mesh, isn't it? Yeah. I was out in our van the other day and um, there were little things getting in. I don't know where they were getting in. Yeah. Just too many little things. Yeah. So and our, the our mesh we... is not yeah. that fine. It's fine, but not that fine. So all the canvas we use yep. is woven in the Hunter Valley, a town right. called Rutherford. And I'd imagine too, if people had an issue at all, it'd be very simple to make a correction here yeah. and give them the replacement part, wouldn't it? We do repairs here as well. So. so when they buy something, yes. do they ever ring you up wanting to know where it's up to? And yeah, yeah. We give production updates. Yeah. Yeah. Do they want to see pictures or anything like that? We can arrange that, that. Yeah. Yeah. Or you, what, can they come and have a look halfway through? Or? Uh, mm. Once we know exactly whereabouts in the production queue it's going to be, yeah. we can give an estimation of the day that it's going to be right. something worthwhile to look at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how do you approach Starlink and that kind of stuff? Where people want, you know, pass through ports and yeah. can, you, can you do all that kind right. of thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, with those things, for example, um, we started off with the Nature's Head composting toilet as an option. Right. Then more and more people are asking for the OGO. Yeah. So, as a design team, we took it back. Yep. Yes, we can do that. That's a horse float. It's brand new. Is it? No, but didn't you used to make those in the old days? Yeah, we, we finished right. making them in the mid 90s. Special order, is it? No, we're making them again. Oh. That is fantastic. Yeah. That is beautiful. So this is the showroom, which is pretty Three. much across the road from the, the factory. That's right. So when people come in here, a lot of people have come in. Do you find they just walk in interested or do they have some idea on the way? I think with anything, there's a mixture of that. Yeah. You get the people who have certainly done their research. Yeah. And then you get the people that have got no idea what they really want. What's this here? Cub Adventurer. Cub Adventurer, so... Oh, that's your van, isn't it? Your, your... No, that's actually our community your... engagement. Oh, okay. All right, so we're, we're having a weekend. Yeah. This weekend down at Coolandel. Right. So if you buy a cub and you're in the family, whether it's a camper or a caravan... It doesn't matter, yeah. You can come there. Yeah. So, and these three are the big ones. Weekender, Drifter, Explorer. Yeah. So you can walk in and see them here. You can take them right through with all the features of these That's right. camper trailers. Yep. And a lot of people are still into camper trailers. But I'll tell oh, you sorry. one thing. When you're moving out of a camper trailer like into a van, any van is such a transition, isn't it? That's right. You get a van and suddenly it's got a toilet and shower. It's yeah, like look a, at all this storage. Yeah, I can just shove it full of stuff. Yeah. Mm. So how much would these be weighing? approximately like between uh, what and what these campers a yeah little, this one little... here is 770 kilo tear weight oh. and atm of 1300. Oh. now that'd nearly go behind any car wouldn't it yeah i've got one smaller yeah L lighter lighter same size yeah but lighter oh, okay we've got the weekender there oh. 600 tear weight 900 atm 600 tear weight you could tow that with your corolla We've actually gone through Look at and that. checked. Toyota Corolla. So it was right. Yep. I can tow a Cub Weekender. Look, if you've got a normal car and you put a tow ball on it, you should be able to carry something like that. Oh, yeah. 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 So in the next room... Here's where the vans are. Got a few vans here. So it's a 16 foot. Yep. 
The L yep. is the next level down from the C16, which is the top of okay. the range. The grey one we saw over there. That's right. With the beauty silver stuff on the side. Yep. This okay. is the same size. Right. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the C does. Yep. Right. And again, you've got a list of cars here too that can tow this van. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And the tear weight, look, 1900. We were saying before, so to upgrade this so it can carry a little bit more, you go to the ATX stuff. That's right, you put Master. in the Cruise Master airbag option. Yeah, right on. And that takes your ATM from 2500 yeah. up to 2700. Yeah, yeah. With, with and that's not quite much nice. of a weight difference. Yeah, that's quite nice. So that's like, you know, 800 kilos. Yeah. Even as it is 600 kilos. Mm -hmm. That's quite a bit. Yep. You load it up with water and a couple of hundred kilos of other stuff, you've still got more space. Yep. Then we've got the two hybrids. Yeah, so you've got a, we've got a, a 14 here on the, yep. on the left. Yep. And then uh, straight ahead of us, we've got the 16. Cool. Now, all of your products, they have the Red Arc equipment? That's right. Yeah, I love this um, kitchen. She's a beauty. Over there in the factory, we saw, so underneath this bed here, it's got the aluminium framing. Yep. That's right. I'll lift and then it's got you. the aluminium composite. Yep. That's all right. Oh, look at that. Automatic light. Yep. Hybrids are always a challenge when it comes to where yep. am I going to put my you stuff. You also get along the sides. So you get, yeah. Your little storage nooks. Yeah. Down the sides. That's good. And it's got electric up and, and down. Four actuators for yep. the roof. Yeah. So with these awnings, are they is electric awning an option or are they all? It all is an option to have electric. Okay. Yes. Or you can have the normal wind out one. Yeah. And what sort of heater does this come with? Uh, Epispacha diesel heater. Right. Okay. And that does your hot water and a space heater as well. That looks pretty good in here. So composting toilet, if I wanted to have one of those. Yes. And that's an option, yeah. It is. And I like the fact now a lot of people, I don't see it, a lot of people, but putting the shower head up there. Because mm -hmm. when it's down there, it's so low, isn't it? Yeah. You also get... Ah, right. So that's a big storage area, isn't it? The storage down there as well. Yeah. So you've got the outside kitchen, and yep. that's got compartments out there too to put stuff in. Yes. Yeah. A little bit of wood grain. Yeah, that... I just love that aluminium. Congratulations. That's nice in that drawer. There's room for that. Yeah, so they're all soft clothes, bit of extra space under there. And then you've got three big drawers here. Yeah, so that's in the 14. Yeah. That's standard. Right, yep. You can option in a 110 litre fridge. Oh, okay. In place of those drawers, right, if you wanted right, to. Right, right, yeah. Or you could option in a microwave there and two drawers there. Right, and this is the vinyl, all made upstairs where we just saw. Now, there's two or three options for inside, isn't there? There's three layouts. Yeah, three different layouts. Yep. So you've got a king bed layout. Yeah, which is this one. Yeah. That's the king bed. You get a bunk layout. Yeah. Uh, or you can get a, um, a single bed layout. And it doesn't slam down either. That's a good thing. No. So Harry's uh, fired a fork. Which yep. van has he got? He's got a H16. Right, OK. So this is the 14 we were just in. And we've got 16. So I was talking about the three options of layout. Yep. So you've got over there, that's a king bed. That's right. Yeah. This is a single bed. Right. So two singles. That's good, isn't it? That seems to create a lot of space to walk down in the middle. That is good. Does, doesn't it give you a lot more space? I think you underestimate that space, don't you? That looks way more comfortable. And the beds are pretty long. Well, they seem long. Yes. That looks good. I don't mind that. Mm. So this is the third layout. So it's the double bunks, east-west bed, plenty of storage down there, isn't there? Is there storage underneath this bed still, like the Same. other ones? Yeah. Then you've got your sitting area. Yeah, good. And this one has the fridge in it. Microwave. That's handy, isn't it, having a microwave? And you've still got your outdoor kitchen preparation right. area and that kind of stuff. Yep. This is a very big area. 
And for people with a, a, a hybrid type of feel, you know, they all get concerned. I'm having a shower, everything else gets wet. These toilets are designed to get wet anyway and for the water to yep. flow out down the sides and whatnot. That's right. That does look like lots of space. Yeah. So we're getting into one of these, about 100,000, plus right. any other extras you want to add on to them. That's a fantastic price for a full caravan. It is. Yeah. And this one here, tear weight 1,900. So and that's impressive. All Australian made. Yeah. That's very good. And what about, what's the hybrids then? Just quick, how much would that be? Uh, Just roughly. Entry, 95. Right. And this one? 90. Right. So that's coming out here, looking at an Australian made, 100% Australian made, quality product with three really good options. Yeah. And you've got a new product coming out, that's right. which is the F14, yep. which is a hybrid, got a much taller, like extension of the, the top bit. So it's got a lower profile. Yeah. and it raises up and the airflow that must be going to come through there will be incredible. Yeah. Okay, that's it for Cub. Special shout out for them. Not every caravan company lets you into their factory. In fact, very few do. We've asked a lot of them. Uh, we have another one coming up in a month or so. So that'll be interesting to see. But if you want to see a genuine Australian made product that's affordable, lighter weight, you can put it behind a lot of other cars. You don't need the big four wheel drive. I'd be out there having a look at Cub Campus, get them on your list. Check out their hybrids, full caravans. If you want to see it in action, watch that Harry's Fire to Fork. Check him out on YouTube, he's towing one of these around all the time. He's a fan ambassador for them. And um, he likes to give it the full treatment, believe me. So, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Needed just to take the family out. Oh, there's a bit of rope to hang on to.